is a repair that started when we were down and we found it, the problem, when we were in Pinehurst, North Carolina at uh, Sycamore Lodge. And I started to do the repair there, um, but realized that there was a lot more complications um, than I wanted to do on the road and also uh, I wanted to get all the right stuff. So anyway, today is just going to be a quick short video on a repair we had to do on our Ventura Sports Track 343 VIK um, where I'm calling it a underbelly um, seal cover repair I, whatever but uh, it's just one of those things that happened and uh, actually this is one of those things that they messed up at the manufacturer probably should have fixed but anyway here's just a quick short video on that Okay, so we are back. Had to switch SD cards out. Just showing you what I ended up doing to fix this. I added that extra piece in there. Right here, all the way along. I added that in to give the extra little depth in here to hold that up. Also, I have to drill because of this they didn't fix the, the manufacturer did not install this correctly that should have been cut out around it or had that piece on it before they stuck that in and they have the same piece the same scenario at this end as well but probably the biggest gripe I have is that here and the same one on the opposite side over here They had bolts in there, but there was no adjoining hole. There was no f way it could have worked. Very irritating. Definitely a failure at the manufacturer. So we had to go buy some washers. This is in a nutshell what we're looking at. And I had to go buy a pack of these. from the. I bought these down in Pinehurst to put in these holes. But I have to get the drill out and drill the holes first. Okay, now we have to do the same thing on the other end.
You know, the reason we're doing this and filming this is just so you get the opportunity to see and know the failures that manufacturers have when they don't do things the right way. And this kind of thing happens on both new and used RVs and across all manufacturers. It's, uh, it's just a little unfortunate, but when you uh, are in an RV and you're living in an RV, you, uh, you have to be able to fix these things. And we'll go into a lot of detail about why you end up doing them yourselves, because the warranties really aren't what they say. These uh, tap screws or bolts were just a little, uh, they were being a booger and uh, had to really put it to it a little bit. I think at some point in the future I'm going to do a video on all the problems and issues we've had. And there have been many on this, but uh, we've had the unit 15 months. Uh, we bought it brand new 15 months ago. Uh, it is a 2021 model um, and uh, the list of repairs is quite long. You know, you end up buying your RV because of the floor plan and not so much the quality, but I think the next time around it's going to be about who the manufacturer is and the quality of the product. But I, I will say, I think we have fixed everything and we really do like the floor plan of our unit. Um, and as long as we know everything now, I kind of feel like we're probably going to keep this one for a few more years. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. And just a quick review, we put that uh, extra little piece of aluminum in there to have enough lip then to hold that up. And we also, of course, had to put the additional bolts in after we drilled the holes that weren't there. That in to give the extra little depth in here to hold that up. And now it's time to get back to more important things.